and welcome back to Thick Chick Thrifts where you come for the fashion but I hope you stay because you know I love you <laughs> I wish I could see my legs I'm doing a running man mm, mm, mm. hey 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 today is another beautiful spectacular Sunday whatever day you are watching this know that God loves you and I do too and I'm so happy that you are here if you are new here Welcome, darling. My name is Nitra, aka Sugar Mama. Yes. Hello, sweetheart. I hope I'm the first Sugar Mama you ever met. If not, I'm going to be the best one. So I love you today and I hope that you are enjoying your day. I welcome you here to the family members, honey. Show them some love. Hello, family. I love y'all and I'm so glad y'all here. Today, today, today is denim day y'all i'm so sorry please forgive me i've been on a denim rant i've been on a denim splurge i own a lot of denim already but i've really been into denim so i went thrifting this week if you watch the vlog you'll see that in the thrift store it was just calling me like smoky it was just calling me and i couldn't resist so i'm doing almost a full denim Haul. This is going to be the first time I've ever done this, but honey, the girls better get ready because when Benance comes out with it, yes, I said Benance. When Benance come out with that her uh, tour and she got all y'all in denim, y'all going to be ready. So I love you. I hope you enjoy. We're going to start out with our hair and then we're going to work with the outfit of the day and then we're going to jump into this denim haul i had denim on denim again today so i'm going to show you the whole outfit in a second but let's go ahead and jump into this hair and i'll see you guys in a second all right so today like i said we're going to start out with the hair i'm not going to get too close honey but i am going to show you my puff puff pads my all i did you guys you guys if you've seen my previous videos or my haul you know, I had two long puffs, large puff, I can't even explain it, but puff balls in my hair and they kind of hung all the way here. Um, and I loved it. I really did. But it was, it was the keeping them out of the way of everything that was annoying. But I really love the hairstyle. I always check it out. I always go back to it um, at least once a year. Um, but felt like I wanted to redo just a little bit different so I can get another week out of this hairstyle. So I just kind of twisted them up and made me some Princess Leia, some bun buns, whatever you want to call them. But this is what we're going to do for the next week. So I will let you see the side and then the back. And I didn't change anything. This is the other side, but I didn't change anything. I just went ahead and threw um, some pins in it and pin them up that's it nothing too fancy but if you have any questions make sure you leave them down in the comment section because you know i got you so um i usually would have just taken some connectalon hair this is marley hair but you can use connectalon hair the straighter hair and get the same achieve the same look or you can buy the drawstring ponytail buns either way if you wanted to try this look it is very simple. This took me less than five minutes to do because I already had the pom-poms in my hair. I just positioned them where I wanted and pinned them and I was done. But if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Now let's jump into the outfit of the day and we're going to get into this haul. I'm, why am I so excited? I hope y'all enjoy it as much as I do. All right, so for the outfit of the day, you guys, really, really comfortable. Y'all know that is my first commitment to anything besides the Lord is comfort. We got to be comforted in the Lord. So we're going to be comfortable while we in it too. So I love to be comfortable. Now today I threw on some, um, I was kind of cleaning out my area and my other closet where I have stuff. And I found 
I was going through denim because I was trying to put these looks together. So I ended up finding some old jeggings that I had um, and forgot I had them. And so I pulled these out and you will see on the side here, the side view uh, or the full view of what I have on. And I had this, um, it's not necessarily a crop, but it's a, on me, I'm shorter and I'm probably sure if you were taller, it would probably be more crop, but it hits me right at my waistline. So it's not necessarily crop, but you will see, and I'll make sure I turn around. Um, I don't think you can see it here. I'm a little too short for the camera, but I will make sure I show it on the side here. There is a bow detail in the back of this shirt that where you can make this tighter to cinch it in more if you would like to. But these pants, I need to let y'all know. I, I will try to put in the bottom the name brand of these pants. When I These are the softest jeggings I own. These Now the pockets are faux in the front, but they are functioning in the back. So I absolutely love these leggings um or jeggings whatever you but they do feel like leggings you know y'all know i wear them every day to work anyway so anytime i can get away with something like that we all i am so i threw these on and i did put this together and i was going to wear it with my first uh accessory that i'm going to show you in a second but it's so nice outside but it's really windy so i did not want to be out in them streets with these shoes on not today when it starts warming up then yes but i don't like to be cold and if you well i don't know about you but y'all let me know the minute my toes is cold i won't go nowhere i won't go home i'm cold i don't care how many jackets you put on if my toes are cold i'm cold so i did not want to be out with all that wind blowing and my feet were cold trying to be cute so i went ahead and threw on some sneakers and i hope you can see it on the side there but what so comfortable that's all i'm gonna say very very simple very girl next door very chic very out the door ain't nobody got time for that is what this outfit should have been called so i hope you guys like it let me know what you think now i did have a bomber jacket on i'll show you the bomber jacket in a second now you will see me um with it on but it's a bomber jacket that i thrifted a while ago and it's a denim bomber jacket now i have a couple different styles of this this one has this blue piping here this and it gives more denim a more denim look to it this one is a whole lot lighter than the other one i have the other one has fleece so it makes it a little bit heavier and a little warmer but it wasn't that cold today so it was only in maybe 50 today so we cool pockets it has that same material at the bottom um elastic at the bottom and a couple of little faux pockets on the side here. So very comfortable, but I hope you guys enjoyed the outfit of the day. If you have any questions, y'all know I got you. Leave them at the bottom, but head to toe, thrifted. Thrifted, thrifted, thrifted. Or shall I say, neck to toe, thrifted. Uh, even the shoes. Um, but you figure for $25, I have on shirt, pants, shoes, socks, probably even hair, all under $25. So. I hope you guys enjoy, but let me know what you think of the outfit of the day. And let's go ahead and jump because I wanted to keep it all denim. I'm so excited about this. So I really, really hope you guys like this, but let me know. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Hey, hey, hey. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm going to start with accessories. If you ever want to know what stores or where I found these at, um, I always tell you guys, but if you want to see it, Make sure you keep up with the vlog series every Thursday, God willing. I post a vlog because I work with children with autism. And all we do is I expose them to the world. And of course, what things that I like to do and things they love to do. So we do a lot of what they love. And then every now and then I jump in and get some thrifting in there. I, yes, I do. So I actually take you guys with me and show you when i find a lot of these pieces in the thrift stores or rainbows marshalls wherever i am i try to make sure i record uh, as much as i can which whatever the store allows some stores allow you to record whatever you want some stores you can't record at all so i hope you guys enjoy my first piece is going to be these ugg slippers yes i found these beautiful ugg slippers for five dollars at my local goodwill and they are brand new 
they, well, they were, because honey, I've been, when I tell y'all I've been wearing these shoes, I did not realize how comfortable these shoes were. I think it's because I love a platform shoe. Um, I am just a really big fan of a platform and they have a lot of this material here and it's that Sherpa style material. Um, a lot of them have the fur and I found that the fur is a lot slipperier than this Sherpa because I tried on the fur ones before. I found a pair previously and they had that like that furry material but I found that that when I have on socks you you slip a lot and when you got on a platform the last thing you want to do is be slipping and your ankle turns so I did find that these gave a little more um I think it's because of this and the Sherpa so they kind of held your foot in I don't want to get too close but they held your foot in a little bit more secure or snug and then when you don't want it I just tuck this in and it becomes just a regular slipper. So I'm not going to stay too long on these. And like I said, these are the brand Uggs. And they were brand new in the box. Um, they are a size 8. Which, come on, what are, come on, Jesus, what are the odds of me going? Like I tell y'all, I find any name brand you can almost think of, I have found it thrifting. Um, but I always found Uggs. Uggs are something... That used to be something hard to find, but now they're not hard to find, especially in my area. I can't speak for everybody else, but because I live in a military town, that is why we have so many thrift stores. We have, I think I go to between in a month, I can go to 10, 15 thrift stores. I just go to different ones throughout that whole month that you guys see me vlogging. And, uh, and that's only in my area. If I ever venture out, into like Newport News, Norfolk, in the surrounding Hampton Roads area, you can forget it. I'm gonna have to take y'all to the Goodwill Bins. I went there before, I didn't really care for it too much, but I may take a trip out there this summer just so we can go see if it's a little bit different. I did not care for the way they had it running the first time I went, but it's been about a year or so, so I may go back again. But in this area alone, military bases with the largest military bases here so every time there's always people deploying coming in cleaning whatever so you're always going to find some really good things in this area I, I found that between here and new york has been some of the best thrifting but i'll take that back i'm gonna have to out of the three that i've ever done i've been in california thrifting they're a lot more expensive you find really good stuff but a lot more expensive but new york here and dallas my God, yes, he good. And he be good to me in the thrift store. So I hope you guys like this one. I won't ramble on too much, but I think they are really, really cute. And black, you really can be, because most of the time you find wild colors. So I can wear these in the summer just to be out and about, mailbox, grocery store, and not look like Shanita Shanana Lequeque in the grocery store. So <laughs> I think these are really cute. So let me know what you guys think. But for $5, girl, Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let's get to our next, our next accessory. All right, before we go any further, let's go ahead and get this out the way. I rocks rough and stuff with my Afro puffs. Hey, rock on with your bad self. I know y'all been singing it. I know you have. I love her. I love her. I love her. So if that's a uh, homage to her, it is. Somebody tell her to come on, check your girl out. I love the Lady of Rage. I've been like, wearing this style and and people always think i look like her when i do this so i'll take it she is absolutely beautiful but it's the lady of rage yo it's the one it's the lady of rage coat kicking up dust y'all let me know if y'all know what that if you young google it because oh, oh girl used to be hitting so hard okay okay we gonna get back into the hall but i knew y'all was singing it though but my next piece is spectacular 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 i should say but this one i found at my last piece i found at my local goodwill and it was on holland road um no rosemont so if you're in the virginia beach area i will try to make sure i link it or the name put the name and everything at the bottom but if i don't it is on the rosemont um goodwill in virginia beach but this one came from my local Goodwill in Lynn Haven, well, by Lynn Haven Mall. It's in the Lynn Haven Park area in Virginia Beach. I try to start saying this. So if you ever come here, 
you get to find these stores yourself. But you can always leave me a comment and I'll send you right to where you need to be. But this, y'all, just look. It is gorgeous. It's a tortoise shell. Isn't it pretty? It is so thin and lightweight, but at the same time, it has a little weight to it. But look at the top of it. Let me open it. Isn't it pretty? Here is the inside with that beautiful hot pink color so you can find what you're looking for. It's not black, so things won't get lost in there. It has a small inside pocket, if you can see that. But this, I thought, was so stinking cute. And it has a magnet on both little clasps. So it's that instant lock. So I don't have to worry about it. But I thought this was so cute as a little clutch. And when you see what I found to match, you're going to be like, ain't no, come on, somebody. Say it with me. Oh, but God, come on. I'll be, I'll be hit. Y'all, listen, I need to be a professional thrifter for people. To be a stylist and all I do is shop at the thrift store and style people if you need that let me know because I am so good at what I do but this was five dollars and I had a 20% coupon for everything I purchased Friday so I went on Friday so if you go back and check out the vlog I took you through the whole store and everything I found or even things I didn't buy, I made sure if I saw something good, I showed it to you guys. But this I thought was so cute when I saw it and it was just sitting there. Um, it was just hanging on the thing by itself. And I was like, you mean to me? Nobody's people just walking past. Okay. Nothing but God waiting for me. So I thought this would be so cute with these shoes that I'm about to show you. But just one more look at this one. And for $5, it's kind of shiny. And it kind of picks up that light. And I have several pairs of tortoiseshell sun, um, uh, glasses. I have sunglasses. I have cat eye glasses. But I have so many different types to wear with this. And when I show you why, y'all, let me get them and then I'm going to show them to you. All right. So this particular item, y'all, I had to get it together so I can make sure I show it to you properly. Now, this item, for some reason, I just wanted to try a different store this week. So when I was right next to, if you ever come here and you go to this Lynn Haven thrift store, it's in a shopping center. Now, the awesome part about this shopping center is you can go from the thrift store, you can go a couple doors down, you can go to the Dollar Tree right next door, then you can go to Rainbow see what they got. And then right next to that is a Plato's closet. Now I usually do not go in Plato's closet because their prices used to be just crazy. And for, for, it was almost like a thrifting, but I think because that Goodwill is further down and rainbow is there, they've dropped their prices quite a bit. So there are some really inexpensive things in that particular store. But these, I just went in there for like 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. And I did get some footage, some footage while I was in there because I was kind of in a hurry. But look at these. Look how perfect. Can you see how perfect that is? And you'll see in a second because I'm going to hold them side by side. These are the dopest and they're so comfortable only because of this platform. Now, I had these on. I walked around in them. They are very comfortable. Um, they do not hurt my foot because they have this huge platform. So when you have this heel here, it makes it look like the, the heel is extremely high. But it's really not. If you put your hand where the platform starts, the heel starts right above my hand. And these were only $14. Oh, I was in the store and I had just bought, I had just got this, um, no, I got these first because I thought they were so cute and it's, the, the brand is called Semi London. I've never heard of this brand, but I really like them. So I'm going to have to check them out. Now, what I love about these so much is that clear, um, strap across your foot. So you get to see all my toenail polish, honey. Yes, you will get to see all of the toenail polish. And I'm going to try these on today so you get to see me with these on. I had a request for somebody saying, asking me to add more heels into my haul. So 
I will start as I'm finding them comfortable ones because I really don't wear a lot of heels. But shoes like this, it's almost like you have a wedge on when you wear when you wear these. But the awesome part about these here, let me get this one. These are that long, extra long um, strap. So you can lace these. Can you see how long that is? So when you have on a nice pair of denim distressed shorts, you could lace these all the way up or a nice summer sundress. Girl, you, you better go ahead and get it because that's what you're going to be getting. That's what's going to happen. But these I thought were so sexy, um, but yet so cute and comfortable at the same time. But I'm going to show you these two together. Can you see how amazing that is? Now, it's not a perfect match, but it's just close enough. It looks almost perfect. It's close enough. I don't know about y'all, but I love it. And they were, like I said, $14. And for a head to toe look, whatever I have on, I can just balance it out with my shoe and my purse to match. So let me know what you think about those. What are the odds, y'all? I always say, what are the odds? And then God showed me another one the next week. So I'm so grateful and thankful that he always make a way for me to keep finding some awesome pieces to show y'all. But I really hope you like these. And these look brand new. Whoever had them, it looks as if they never even wore them. And I thank them because they went with this purse. And the Lord knew that was going to be the combination I needed for this summer. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is it for my accessories. I didn't want to overwhelm myself with accessories this week. Now we're going to jump into this denim, honey. Let's go ahead and get some more of this denim in us. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm calm. I'm ready. And I'm ready to show y'all these denim fashions. Now, I tried to give you several different looks as far as it goes to denim. And then I had, um, I had a comment that I responded to. Some of you guys are having a hard time finding jumpers, denim jumpers. Look at my haul, my last haul. I keep finding jumpers. If you need one, let me know in the comment section. What you, honey, I run across these things so much. I'm like, I can't buy another one. I cannot buy this. And I always end up putting them back. But this one, I have another one to show you today. But my first piece, we're going to start off really simple. And I don't want to say plain, but like that really common look. If you want to go for that um, old school 50s kind of cow not necessarily cowboys but that 50s romance look where you used to be able to wear a nice wide leg pair of pants and a nice pair of suspenders so i got these from goodwill yesterday and the color of the day was green these were um five dollars with 75 percent off so i think i paid almost two dollars for these pants they are very fitting and they have this rubber band or ruching here elastic but I call it rubber band because it is huge, but it's that really pretty, um, it's not necessarily paper bag because paper bag would be a little bit higher, but this elastic is really, really good. There are pockets on this and they are functioning. Here is the green tag there at that particular Goodwill. I always, now at our Goodwills, I keep telling y'all, and I try to show you, we have two colors of the day and green was one of the colors. So I got these really beautiful wide leg. See how wide the leg is on these? You guys know I am a sucker for a wide leg pant. Today I went for, um, I do have a lot of jeggings, but I, that's when I was in that, that era of jeggings. I love jeggings. But I kind of went through that era where everything was skinny, 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 skinny. And now I only like it sometimes. And I haven't done it in a while. So today I was really feeling that that with these sneakers and this particular top. So I thought I would do this to show you a wide leg version of a, um, a denim pant that's really comfortable. And let's say you got to go to a teacher's conference. You got to go to work, whatever this is, you can definitely get away or school. You can get away with something like this. And I found these men's overalls, these huge, see how wide these are. Usually when you find uh, suspenders, they are very skinny, but I love these. Um, there's this leather backing on the back of it. And these were $3 with 20% off. So I love this little leather detail here. 
And these have the silver grommets. And look how big those are. Excuse me, y'all. But these, look how beautiful that silver is. It's almost like a piece of jewelry. But I thought this would be so cute with these pants because of the wide leg. Now, if you wear something like this, I'm 5'3 for reference, so it will elongate me. If you notice, I always have on wide leg pants because it, it, it just makes me look longer, longer because you're not really paying attention to where my shoes hit my pants. You can't see them. But I love this look, and I'm just going to throw it on today. And I'm going to probably show you two different ways. And back in the days, I used to love to wear, um, God, I hate calling these. I just call it a tank top because everybody calls them a white beater, and I can't stand that. But I found these tank tops. Uh, I have a lot of these tank tops. So I'm just going to throw a simple tank top. And if you remember in the 50s, how they used to always have that T-shirt or a tank top with some suspenders and a nice pair of either khaki pants. I just figured I like it better with a pair of denim. And I'm probably just going to put on my denim uh, boots. Let me show you. If you haven't seen them already, I'm going to throw them on with this denim on denim. So we can keep that denim look going. But I'm going to throw it on with that. And I'm not sure, but I may show both ways how you can put it on and have this as a almost like a jacket that I paid two dollars for this it had been marked down so many times with 20 percent off so I paid almost I think a dollar fifty for this shirt you can never go wrong with a white button down men's button down shirt this one is a whole lot smaller than the other ones I have I generally don't have a lot of fitted but this one fits me a little bit better than the others I wear them as dresses so they're always extra oversized but this one actually fits it's a little oversized but not as big as the other ones and i'd love to put a pair of suspenders so i hope you like the way i'm styling it here and i'm going to try it with those pants and that t well with pants and the t-shirt first and then we're going to try it with this white shirt and the boots and the suspenders but you let me know which way you liked it better that is our first outfit now let's jump into our next denim outfit All right, as you can see, I'm trying to speed it up so I can keep this moving for y'all. So let me know if I'm going too fast because you know I listen to what y'all say. So I hope you are enjoying so far. And I hope you like both different ways that I'm kind of have it in my head how I want it to come out. But we will see because I see this tried on with you. So my next piece, like I said, I have been running like jumpsuit after jumpsuit after jumpsuit. I'm not sure if it's because I'm in this area, but this jumpsuit right here, I wasn't leaving this one. Now, this kind of looks like the other one that I have, but the other one had sleeves on it. And this one is just a little bit different and it gave a little more. Um, you'll see. I'll show you in a second. But this one is another one piece jumper or romper jumpsuit, whatever you want to call it. And it's trimmed in this brown trimming here. Now. The other one had white thread, I think. So it stood out a little more. This one kind of is a little more muted. And it has, let me open it up so you can see. And it has these pockets on the front. And the pockets are functioning. And it's from a brand called VIP Jeans. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of them. But the stretch is amazing. Whatever VIP is, the stretch is amazing. And there's this faux... Can you see that? It's almost like they bleached a little bit of it. You never see when you sit down, you get that weird out look. Um, and that's kind of the look they were going for. So they did that for you. And it just gives it a little cute dimension. The pockets work in the back. And there are pockets in the front. So y'all know I love this. There are belt loops. So if you choose to, I may put a belt on it. I may not. It just depends on how it's going to fit. Now, this one is super duper long. So I may have to wear this one with a pair of um, some of my platform shoes because I'm almost certain if I I'm putting this up now, if I don't, it's going to be dragging the floor. And with these, they're more of a bell bottom style. And I'll show you at the bottom. These kind of have this really pretty detail on the bell bottom. Can you see that? Look how pretty that is. 
it's this dark blue and then it goes to that light blue denim here and then it's like that patchwork it's it's like a quilt but i thought these were so cut but it's kind of bell bottomy but not crazy so i don't look like i a pimp c uh you know i ain't looking like i'm out there getting them you know railing them in so uh this is it just reminds you a hint of the 70s but it's really modern looking so i'm gonna throw this on and right now i could definitely wear a cardigan or you can wear a t-shirt under it and cover up your arms whatever the case is a shawl this weather is crazy here y'all i don't know where you are but it is still chilly here but i would definitely wear a cardigan or something on a colorful one whichever one you chose to wear would go perfect with this because you have the options because of this here now i definitely me i would throw on a denim jacket right now because y'all know i'm really into denim with denim and denim so i may throw it on with those boots i may throw it on with those high platform shoes or another pair of platform shoes but i hope you guys like this one i hope you like the way i styled it and i think what i love the most is that this one gives you the option because of the zipper now the other one had buttons so when you have a zipper you have more of a, an, an option of to where you want to leave this zipper up or down um but i love this and it goes all the way past a little past your waistline so try i guess getting out of this and in it does not make it hard because sometimes when you're trying to get into it with them buttons sometimes the buttons when you close them if if you're a little heavier or whatever you pull in the threads you can see through the buttons the buttons sit up it's a lot but the other one is really really pretty it's just this one it looks a little more functionable or if that is a word it is now but um this one seems to be a lot more comfortable than the other one i'm saying it isn't it's just all them buttons when i can just zip it up I guess I'm just lazy when it comes to fashion. I want to be cute, but I just want to be comfortable. So let me know what you think of this one. This one was from my local DAV. I went to that one at the last thrift haul I did, and I just saved it because I was finding so much denim. This one was $6.98, but I thought it was totally worth it because it looks brand new. Um, I've been doing a really good job of finding new pieces or pieces that really look like somebody took really good care of them so it's almost time for me to clean out my closet also um and keep adding things to my poshmark so make sure you look at my poshmark if you ever put in the search engine sugar mama va i'll try to put it on the screen it'll take you straight to my poshmark where a lot of these pieces i'm starting to put more on the site i have quite a few but i have like two bags of things that i need to add to it so Make sure that you leave me a comment so I can remember to go put some of this stuff on Poshmark if you are interested. So I hope you guys like this one. But if you are looking for jumpers, just keep go th going thrifting. I guarantee you, you will find one because I see one every day. I see more than one every day and I try to show them in my vlogs. So let me know in the comment section if you found one and how you like it. So let's go to our next couple of pieces. All right, so my next piece, I'm going to single out for a second because it actually it goes along with the next couple of pieces, but I'm trying to show you one at a time. So my next piece is another pair of denim pants that I found while out thrifting. Um, you guys know, as I said, I love a good wide leg, but these um, had this piping down the front. And I was telling you guys last week, anytime you find a pair of jeans, a pair of cargo pants that already have this detail in the front here, I'll show you as close as I can get to it. But this little piping here, it just pulls you together so well. And it, that seam in the front, and it always makes your pants look really crisp and pulled together to me. It's just that, um, it's like you ironed them even if you didn't it kind of gives off that look that it was tailored it's just that tailored look that i really like so i found these jeans at goodwill and they were two dollars and they're by a brand called earl i've never heard of this brand before my brother-in-law name is earl but these are by a brand called earl and there's this really pretty um patch here on the back that's a silver plated 
and it just says since 1996. So if you guys have ever heard of Earl jeans, let me know in the comment section. This was a new one for me. But what I love the most about these besides that piping was the stretch. Sister girl, when I tell y'all if you need to put these on, if you know you're going to get down on the get down with some eating, Earl jeans is probably, I need to do a commercial for them because honey, Earl jeans are made for eating. Um, but they are a wide leg style pant. I'm pretty sure they probably make different kinds, but this one happens to be a wide leg pant. Pockets are all functioning, but the stretch on this feels, it's not, okay, I'll tell you the difference. The pants that I have on are like leggings. The stretch is ridiculous. There is no pull. These just, wherever you bend, you could do sit-ups, push-ups. I can work out in these jeggings because there is nothing but stretch. The difference between those and these, these have a good stretch where there is a snapback. There is a pull or a resistance with this particular stretch. Now, I don't know. Um, these, I haven't checked. These are... 57% cotton. Okay. And there's spandex in this. So there's only 2% spandex in this one. So there's a lot of between cotton spandex and a little bit of polyester. That is where the snatch is coming back. So if you are looking for, um, that snatched, make sure you want to go the lower the spandex, the tighter that pull or that snatch will be. These are just probably, oh, <laughs> 50% spandex and whatever else material cotton because these are just like I literally look, look at that It just I can and they they snap back of course just like a jegging but these you can you can run in them that's how soft and stretchy they are but these are a good stretch meaning you want to be cute and pulled together and fitting and formed this is the type of stretch you're looking for but I love this pair and I got them because I'm going to show you in a second what we're going to wear them with. So let's go ahead and jump into our next pair of jeans and then we get to my favorite piece that I really want to show you. All right, I hope I'm not overloading your circuits with all of this denim, but I really wanted to give you guys ideas. And of course, there are a million ways you can do this, but right now I'm loving denim. So I wanted to share another look with you guys. Um, but these are really fun. Just a simple pair, once again, of some leggings that I got or jeggings that I got while at the thrift store. And these were the other color of the day. So these were like $1.50 um, at the thrift store. And these are from Fashion Nova. And I got these because of my next piece. I hope you guys... I did like a DIY and I'll show you in a second. But these are um, functioning pockets in the back but not functioning in the front. So it's going to give you that smooth out. And the reason they do that is because, and, and, and I love this, um, on, unless it's a baggy pair of jean, jeans, you want to get full pockets in the front and functioning in the back because the less material that you have pushing up against here, then it doesn't look like a whole bunch of material gathering where your pockets are. So when you don't have the pockets or you have full pockets, it's going to smooth that area out because nobody wants any help with bulk in the front. I don't know about y'all, but I don't need no help bulking up in the front. So um, everywhere else is pretty good. Now, if you want to bulk them in the back, go ahead because it's enough back there dragging to, 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 to throw your mind or throw you. I can fool you a little bit. I can, I can juke you a little bit, but I don't need no help up here. But these were so comfortable and they're just like this style here where just pure de-stretch. There's not a lot of spandex in uh, this one. It's just pure de-stretch. But I needed them for the color. And you see these pins on it because I've lost so much weight that I'm still shapely, curvy. I still wear a 14, a 12, 14, or a 13 in girls. Um, but my waist has always been small. I don't care how plus size I was. My waist was always small. Even when I was a size 26, I still had a smaller waist. So pants would always gather and gap in the back. But a lot of my pants now fit in my waist. I mean, my, my hips, but my waist is so small now that now I have to 
uh, I figured out a, a cool way to um, alter my pants to make them look really cool. And I use these pins as decorations, but at the same time, I use them as a way uh, to kind of tailor it until I can learn how to sew or fix this problem myself. But I love how shapely I am now, but my waist has never gone anywhere. It's just smaller or it's just, it's just permanent now. Like it's prominent is what I'm trying to say. But I love these and I cannot wait to show you the next pair, but I got these specifically for this next piece and I'm going to show you why in a second. So let me get it and then I'll show you guys, but you can't beat a dollar fifty or two dollars for a pair of pants. I don't even think these were two dollars um, with the 50% off. I think I paid a dollar for these. So I'm going to show you the next piece and you'll see exactly what I mean by the reason I got them. All right. So for the last piece is it's so grand for me like y'all know i love a moment and this is one of those moments but i found another puffy sleeve now this one was actually a dress now if you go watch next thursday it should be in my next thursday's vlog i found this fashion nova dress um let me close this up while i'm talking but i found this fashion nova dress and i fell in love with the sleeves because it was sitting in the dresses, um, but it was a mini skirt style dress. And you guys know I don't do a lot. I will wear a dress, but I'm not a big fan of a mini dress. It's just not my jam. Nothing against it. It's just, it, it just, it just ain't happening. Like I'm just not that girl. And you always want to go for what's comfortable for you versus a trend or a style. So if you notice a lot of the clothes that I wear, I stick to my wheelhouse because I know what is very um, shapely on me and I know what fits my body um, pretty well now I will try things out and if I don't like them you just I just don't go back to it but you figure I'm thrifting so I I have that leeway to do so and if something don't work out I only paid what five less than five dollars or five dollars for something um, but I found this beautiful I'm gonna try to stand back so you can see puffy sleeve dress now if you go to the video, you will see before I cut it. I altered this and cut it, and I did my t-shirt cut on this dress. You know, I always show you guys how I cut my t-shirts, so I went for that same feminine cut for the front, and then I just cut straight across the back. It doesn't look like much here, but when you see it on, you'll see exactly how I cut it, but this is how, see how the bottom is? kind of that circle or moon shape that I always do on my shirts. But this really caught my eye. It's that halter style top and the pockets are faux, so they are not functioning. So you don't have to worry about all that material like I was telling you before. But the best part of this are these sleeves. Look how billowy these sleeves are. I have been falling in love with these like button or or puffy style sleeves i did that black jumpsuit and everybody loved that black jumpsuit i love it i'm gonna wear it to my son's graduation um in june so that's that's gonna be my outfit probably with those black and um sh those that purse with those shoes to match but this i thought was fabulous now the dress was only six dollars with 20% off. So I knew at that price, I could cut it, do whatever I wanted to do to make it work for me. It came with these really long, see how puffy that is? They actually had a, this part of the sleeve went all the way to the, my wrist. It was the oddest shape of a sleeve that I had seen on this bell type sleeve. And so I cut the arm also just so I can get that one, this one piece. I just wanted this piece. So I cut off that long sleeve that they had. I, it, it was just odd looking. And it was, the concept was very pretty. And you could tell that's why the person bought it for the sleeves, but they probably could not get over. It was a long sleeved mini skirt with bell sleeves. So it was just like, I saw where they were going. And so I knew what I could do with it. And I always tell you guys, when you buy something or you see something, envision it on you and what you could do to it to make it your own. So 
I went ahead and cut this bad boy up and when you see it on I hope you like the way I styled it now the reason like I said I got these is because these are a perfect match and it almost looks like a set and at a dollar for less than ten dollars together the whole set and I can wear it with any color shoes and let my purse and my shoes be the pop of color or I can wear some denim shoes like the ones I showed you. But if you look at this, look how pretty that is across the neckline. The decollete, honey, with a lot of jewelry. And can you imagine just the summer with the sun beating and glistening down with your, with, with your lotion, which is shimmery? I'm ready. I'm ready. I cannot wait to wear this. Um, if I could definitely get away with it with that denim skirt that I had also, but I think it would be really good with a pair of jeggings. And I'm, I got those two pair, those Earl jeans and those to give you two different looks, whether you can wear it with a wide leg or you can do with a skinny. So I wanted to give you two different options on how you wanted to wear these particular, uh, this pants as a set. Um, I go for generally, I gravitate to a dark, as you can see, I love a dark denim because it slims you out and it hides a multitude of sins. But this I thought was so pretty um, with those pants and both of them are the same color wheelhouse. So when you wear them together, it really looks like a set. So I hope you guys like the way I styled them. And in my head, like I said, I'm seeing them style with you. So I hope they come out the way I envision them. But I love this, y'all. And you know I'm going to stand that sleeve up, as you can see. Can you see that? I'm hoping that I can keep that sleeve. If I pin it on my bra strap, I should be able to keep this bell puffy. See how puffy that is? I should be able to keep that. Honey, take that. I should be able to keep that like that. So I hope you guys love this haul. I'm not going to say I'm not going to do denim again, but I think I have done denim enough for now so i'm going to start looking for other styles and like i said if you have a comment or a style you would like for me to try i try to incorporate some heels for the person who asked me to start adding more heels um, i'm more of a wedge girl or a platform girl but if you give me a small heel and a platform i got you so i'm going to keep being on the lookout for those but if you have another suggestion just leave it in the comment section and you know i got you but i love these and i definitely going to throw these on with those heels that i have either with the wide leg and the um the jegging so let me know what your favorite is i love this y'all know me i'm a wide leg queen so we're gonna see which one we like the best but let me know you guys and we'll get to my favorite part of the video all right so i thank you guys so so much for coming back and enjoying this video and once again if you are new here welcome darling we love you here let us know you are new and let us know you are in the house so the family can show you some love honey because you are loved over here honey because this is all about god and his love and we just share it with fashion so join the club i hope you are a thrifter if you are a thrifter and give me a toot toot for the thrift haul of the denim for 40 i think i spent less than 40 dollars yeah i spent less than 40 dollars on everything i got in fact before we go i'm going to show you guys a couple of the home pieces that we did i usually don't but I'm, I'm, I'm getting stuff from my patio. So before we get into our favorite part, let me show you a couple of the pieces that I found for my patio. And we're starting to do a home. I'm starting to collect home pieces. So let me go ahead and show you a couple of pieces before we go. I hope it's okay, y'all. All right, I'm not gonna keep y'all too long, but I have a couple of the pieces that I did find. And some of these were $1.99. And I'll show you on here. These came from the Goodwill. All of these pieces I'm going to show you came from Goodwill and most of them were $1.99 or cheaper with um, this one was 75% off because it was yellow. So it was actually 25 cent, 50 cent, something like that. So some of these, especially this one was another one, but it's just the letter and you know that that symbol and like and wood. 
So I love this and that's what I think of when I think of when I see this, but I thought it was very pretty. My color scheme that I'm going for is going to be um, black, white, gold, with a little bit of silver. Um, and my, my pop of color is going to be green, like that um, emerald green. Um, but I want to do gold and silver accent pieces. So when I saw these and everything yellow was 75% off, so most of these were either 25, between 25 and 50 cent um, for these. And I can put candle, a candle or what have you, or, or another knickknack on here. I could sit that in there, however, but I'm going to figure it out once I start putting it together. I will take you guys on that journey with me when I start decorating, but I usually only do clothing hauls, but I'm going to start doing um, just all home decor pieces that um, I find, or just start adding these into my hauls to start showing you guys. But I'm looking for like those calming um, relaxing colors like this. Um, of course, this is beautiful. It's a candle holder. And this one was $3.99 with 75% off. So I think it was like under a dollar. So it was something like that. Maybe a dollar and some change. Something like that. But I thought it was so pretty. And you put whatever kind of candle, color candle. And I'm looking for these nude type pieces. Look how pretty this is, y'all. And this one was $1.99. But I know at Home Goods, this could be every bit of $10 or more. But it's a long rope filled with these really pretty wooden um, balls on here. And it has these tassels. And I want to drape this on my table because um, I'm looking for a gold glass table. Um, uh, or some form of a table and I can paint it gold myself, but I know exactly what I'm looking for I'm looking for something circular because everything I have out there now is Squared so I want to start softening up the edges in there. That's why when I saw these pieces with that circular um, uh, Motion to it. That's the feel I'm going for but look how pretty this is for a dollar ninety nine Like you cannot beat this. I thought this would be so cute to drape on the table with these pieces and then I found this little grassy wreath it's a small one I can hang somewhere or put it on the table and put a candle in between just sit it like this and then sit a candle right in between it and then run that um that little circular wooden bobbin around it but I love those you guys let me know what you think and if you would love to see the pieces that I find that I'm going to be putting in the patio because I'm changing everything that my color scheme now is really bright and bold colors, which I love, but it's been a couple of years now. So it's time for me to do a little more sophisticated look. I'm just kind of feeling that way. I want to do some, some real powerful looks back there, but really, um, classy, more muted toned down, just like relaxing. I want it to be more like a spa versus, a. I needed that pop. I needed that pop. I needed that pop. So that's what I went for the last time. So you guys come along with me. We're going to jazz it up and tone it down. Just we're going to get a little more grown folk out there. But I hope you guys like those. Now let's get to my favorite part of the video again, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. So I thank you again. Once again, this is my favorite part where I get to just love on y'all and give you all of the appreciation that I have to make sure you know how much God loves you. And I do too. So I appreciate you so much for stopping by and making it this far into the video. I love you. I love you. I love you. If nobody told you today, I love you. Don't ever go throughout your day without hearing somebody tell you they love you. If you have, put this back on and then just, just to hear me say, I love you, girl. I love you, bro. Whoever you are, somebody in this world loves you. And it's me. So anytime you need to hear that, come on back and, and get it again. It's free. It is free. Just like God's love. It is free, honey. Anytime somebody try to sell you Jesus, it ain't him. It ain't him at all. So I thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this denim haul. Do not forget if you are a small business or you have a product or something you want to share or you know somebody that has something and you want to share it with the family, make sure you hit my 
email. It should be in the description box. Email me and let me know, honey. I will share it for free to the family. We are all about small businesses and love here. So make sure you hit me up and let me know you would like to send something and we'll get that communication going. So I appreciate you. Know that you are love, honey. Speak life. Speak joy. Speak abundant. Speak health. And I'm talking about good health. I'm talking about don't be talking down on yourself. Speak life. Speak joy. Speak all things positive and they will come back to you. I love you and I'll see you guys, God willing, next Thursday for our vlog and then Sunday for our Thick Chick Thrift haul again and hopefully we got some more home decor because i'm not just gonna be buying anything i'm trying to collect it all that way when i do my switch up we can do a whole quick change out there together and do like a whole haul a video sunday and i just show you guys me taking everything out at thursday and then sunday Show me putting everything back in and then give you a whole reveal. So I love you. I hope you have a spectacular week, honey. I speak life over us this week. I speak abundant life. I speak abundant joy and I speak abundant peace. Y'all be safe out there and I'll see you guys next time on Thick Chick Thrifts, honey, where you came for some fashion, honey, but God had something else for you. He did and it was love. So I'll see y'all later. Thrifting, don't you wanna thrift with me? Big chicks, we just be thrifting.